Look at how awesome the shiny molten split is. Guys, this pet is super cool and all of you need to get at least the regular version welcome back to the channel guys today we're going to go over all of the easter challenges i'm going to make sure that you guys can prepare yourselves and get yourself a molten split it would be seriously lame if you guys missed out because you didn't know what was coming you need to get prepared for the easter challenge so let's go ahead and get ourselves prepared here we go easter challenges i'm going to go over every single challenge and i'm going to give you guys tips and tricks on how you can complete them efficiently now a lot of these methods don't change but hopefully if we keep these 2x magma and 2x crystals it might seriously help you guys with some of these challenges so let's start off i know we're a couple of days in so you guys have probably already done a couple of days worth of work so 2000 thousand eggs is easy 10 million bubbles super easy hatch 50 legendary some people struggle with this one for those of you who don't know you can always just come to the spike egg and do some opening here because it is super easy to get the emerald golem legendary and obviously it counts towards your 50 so if you just want to rush out the 50 on this egg to make sure you get it completed come here do this egg and of course i cannot get one on video Alrighty, after 50 legendaries that's relatively straightforward 750 million gems that should be easy even with the bunny pet that you're getting from the eggs over there or if you haven't gotten the easter overlord that's a great time to get the easter overlord right he is strong enough to seriously help you with a lot of these challenges here he is right here with 18,000 in every single world and 33,000 gems he's really gonna help you out get that guy so that you're ready for the easter challenges 75 million bubbles 5,000 eggs you should do those easily i can open a couple thousand eggs without any game passes on an alt using an auto clicker or just clicking myself 750 epics you'll get that really easily just by hatching the bunny eggs over there or if you really need to couple that with your legendary hatches back here the 50 legendaries and just do them on the spike egg because you will get a lot of both. Next, 250 million bubbles. Super easy to do. I hope you guys know this, but if you stand on a sell sign, you can just hold down your click and watch TV or whatever. And it will automatically sell if you're standing in the right place. Great way to make a little bit of bonus money as well. Next up is collect 1.25 billion candy. I think this deserves a test, all right? Let's assume that you've got your Easter Overlord because you're an awesome person who doesn't mess around and wants to be good at the game. Imagine if you only had the Easter Overlord. Let's go see how much candy you can get just with him. All right, right now I have 10.6 billion candy. So just the Easter Overlord. So obviously you guys have other pets that can do this. But even if you're at the bare minimum, just with the Easter Overlord, you can get 22 million there. We're only doing 1.25 billion, by the way. This isn't too difficult. So 20 million plus another 125 million. So say we're at 145 million. And then on the final chest, you can get a 242. So you're looking at 380 million just for doing the three chests with only the Easter Overlord. If you had bare minimum pets from like the last event or if you had like a shiny Dark Omen or even just regular pets. Let's look at something completely normal that is recent. A Toxic Shock or a Guardian Elemental. With a whole team plus the Easter Overlord maxed out, you'll do that in like one run. So after our 1.25 billion candy, which you just easily got thanks to your Easter Overlord. 1 billion bubbles, super easy to do. 20,000 eggs. You might not finish this on day 11, but by the full 14 days or whatever, you will have completed this as long as you're playing enough. Like you should be grinding a fair bit if you're expecting to be like at the level where you could achieve the molten split. 20,000 eggs shouldn't be too much. 4 billion pearls. Now you're also not going to do this in one day, but using that Easter Overlord plus your other teams. Remember guys, you're looking for this symbol right here. It has the pearl. It's got the block. It's got the bit of candy. All that stuff. There's the magma. This means it works in every single way world get a full team of these and maybe in a day or two you could easily do four billion pearls this is also a good opportunity to unlock all of the chests if you haven't done so already because obviously you need to next up hatch 1.5 thousand legendaries that's uh that is a lot so i'm really hopeful 
that you won't have to do all 1,500 from the spiked egg out there. I hope that you're hatching some of these because the demonic bunny is relatively common. So hopefully you should just be able to open a few of these, get some demonic bunnies. That will really help you towards the 1,500 total that you need. But obviously you've also got the spiked egg out there, which you can use if you need to shore up the numbers if you think you're running out of time. Before we check out the last task here, it's also important to mention that because there are 14 days worth of challenges, it's pretty safe to say that the Easter event will be around for a minimum of 14 days from the beginning. Might be around even longer, but you're getting at least 14 days of the event. And finally, our day, our final day, Day 14, 7.5 billion magma. You'll get a couple of days to finish this, I'm certain. So you're going to get at least, you know, maybe 20 days. It might be the whole month of Easter. Who knows? All the rest of the month. 7.5 billion magma, which is honestly a little bit of a pain. But let's go see what we could get. I currently do have double magma. So we'll have to be a little bit careful there. But let's just say you've got your Easter overlord, just like before, maxed out. And we're going to get some average pets from the last event, which was the lucky event. So I know most of you guys got an overseer. I don't know if it's... We'll do the overseer. I know a lot of you guys have overseer. Actually, no. Let's, let's take it off. Let's take the overseer off. We won't do overseer. We'll do toxic shocks. Because even though their stats are relatively high and they were kind of hard to get, they're not as OP as having an overseer. So assume that if you've got an overseer, it counts as two toxic shocks. Because the stats are nearly double. Like... We, math but not quite double let's go see what we can get out of the magma world because i'm pretty sure this shouldn't be too difficult if you've got five decent pets all right keeping in mind i do definitely have double magma do i not let's just check i definitely have double magma all right keep that in mind guys so boom 346 million so assume that you guys got say 150 million and then next up we get 2.2 billion so you guys just got 1.1 billion so you're looking at 1.25 billion so far. Very easy. It's very easy. These chests come back after two hours and you're already over a billion, guys. And then boom, 4 billion. So you guys got 2 billion. It was 2.7. So you're nearly at 4 billion total already. You're over halfway. You're over halfway with this team. All right. I believe in you guys. I think you guys can do this very easily. And if you are having any trouble, like, selecting your team or whatever, just think about the most recent events, okay? So, for example, all right, a maxed out Scorpio is 17,000, where a maxed out Jelly Overlord is only 16,000. This is a more recent tier 2 pet. This is an older tier 2 pet. It's not a Jelly Overlord. It's a lovely omen. That This renamed one is messing with me every video. So you can see that the more recent a pet is, the stronger it's going to be. Obviously... The Guardian Elemental is very strong. The Toxic Shock is very strong because they're the newest pets other than the current pets, which were just added into the game. You can see that 3,100 for the easiest to get shiny version of a bunny. So the Demonic Bunny is the easiest rare pet to get. It's 3,100 already. That's nearly better than the maxed out Toxic Shock that I just used. 12,800. Look at that. So really, having a maxed one of these, if you leveled it up and then enchanted it or something, this might be comparable to a regular maxed out Toxic Shock, which means it is even easier to get those stat numbers on your team. You've just got to get a little bit creative, check out your inventory, maybe level a pet up in preparation so that you're able to get enough of those underworlds. I'm kind of sad. I would have hoped that they would have put crystals on there to give people a reason to farm more crystals. Because obviously, the Mystic Forest, people are trying to finish it. I would like to see more people completing the Mystic Forest. So, a little bit of a missed opportunity there, as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, guys, I think that is it for today's video. Do keep in mind, you also get a Rainbow Bunny on, I think it was day 12 or something. This guy is pretty decent, so... It's definitely something you guys are going to want. So even if you don't think you can get to the split, it is definitely worth it just to get the rainbow. Of course, I did this with Robux. I spent 5,000 Robux to get this guy. It also gave me a shiny rainbow. And of course, I get all of those little treats like the 
boosts, which make it easier to complete the egg openings. You know, you get like, I think, maybe four hours or five hours total or something in boosted, like, luck and hatch speed. So it shouldn't be too hard for you guys to reach those 1,500 legendaries and whatnot. Let me know in the comment section down below which task you think is the most difficult. And of course, if this helped you out, leave a like, subscribe to the channel with that notification bell turned on so you never miss an upload. And I will see you all tomorrow with a brand new video. Turn